It's over to you, Deputy O'Kree. Commissioner Skell, to discuss the future of our that have been out of commission in Maryland Park Hospital. Um, Sean Corley. Ogorvisa <laughs> I was saying to Sodom, not will to the file in Ida. John Corley, we're facing an extraordinary situation in Galway. That of patients who have been seen by the specialists, by the consultants for orthopedic operations, there are 2,000 people now waiting for procedures. And why has this backlog happened? It's the worst backlog that I have ever seen in my time in politics. And why has this happened? It happened because there was a problem with the roof in Merlin Park, and instead of having two operating theatres, they only have one operable since. There was meant to be a whole lot of real quick solutions, temporary buildings and so on. I find it difficult to understand how a building can't be repaired in the time we've had and, you know, I look at the building next door here, which is a monumental task and they seem to be coming towards the end of that particular work. And in the meantime, Merlin Park can't fix the roof of the operating theatre so we can have operations. They can't put in a temporary modular building at the promise so we can have operations. And to be quite honest, the patients don't care how you do it. They just want it done. I remember many years ago when I was selling fencing stakes and I ran out of them and somebody rang me looking for fencing stakes. And they said to me, I need fencing stakes. And I started giving excuses. And they said something to me that has stuck in my mind since. They said, Eamon, I'm not looking for excuses. I'm looking for fencing stakes. Well, the people in Galway are looking for orthopaedic procedures, not excuses. And what they want to know from the Minister, what is the government going to do to ensure that that 2,000 people who are in pain waiting for services, hips, knees, injections that have to be done in an operating theatre, operations on backs, etc. They want to know when they're going to be put out of their pain and their misery and the service provided. And I have to say, the last eight years have been characterised by more reports, more investigations, more procedures, except the procedures that aren't being done at the actual operation, but every other kind of procedure to make the procedures that we need to happen not happen, i.e. the operations on the patients that need to be done to take them out of their misery and let them get on with their lives. And as you know, Minister, people waiting in pain often take a lot of painkillers, etc., and that can have its own effect on the body. So, Minister, I hope you've got firm good news from me this evening and a firm date when we're going to start tackling these waiting lists and ensuring that the people of Galway have a very, very basic service and the people of the West in general. Can I first of all thank the Deputy for raising this very important issue? And of course you have to be given a very detailed and considered response. Can I say, Ken Corla, Galway University Hospital, the GUH comprised of University Hospital Galway, the UHG and Merlin Park Hospital, both managed by SELTA University Healthcare Group. Merlin Park University Hospital provides elective medical and surgical, orthopaedic and minor surgery services, renal services, including a hemodialysis unit, two designated rehab units, along with a number of specialist outpatient clinics. 
As the Deputy is well aware, leaks developed in the roof of a building in the Mer Mellon Park Hospital campus that housed the hospital's two orthopaedic theatres in September 2017. To ensure a continuation of the orthopaedic service and with the support of the Merlin Park staff, the hospital facilitated the transfer of elective sessions to University Hospital Galway, UHG. In addition, some minor procedures were undertaken in, Merlin, uh, in Hospital 1, Merlin Park. In March 2018, remedial work facilitated the reopening of one of the two theatres at Merlin Park to restore the service. To bring services back up to full capacity, a tender process was undertaken to provide two modular theatres and a successful vendor was selected for this project. Contracts were exchanged and were under discussion between both parties and a planning application was submitted in December 2018. However, the HSE has, has advised that unfortunately contracts could not be executed and after discussion with legal advisers, the decision was to taken to terminate this procurement. The HSE is current, currently working on a revised procurement strategy to, to restore full capacity at Merlin Park. It is important that patients are aware that services continue and have continued to be provided at Merlin Park since the initial problem arose. In the 12 months at the end of September 2018, over 2,300 patients had procedures for orthopaedics at Merlin Park. Every week, an additional 10 theatre sessions are completed, treating 44 cases on average. To immediately address the waiting list issue, the hospital is currently working to optimise current capacity to treat the patients. The government is committed to providing timely access to treatment for patients and has further increased investment in tackling the waiting list, with funding to the NTPF increasing from £55 million in 2018 to £75 million of this year. The recently published Department of Health HSE NTF uh, PF Scheduled Care Access Plan 2019 sets out measures to improve care for patients waiting for scheduled care in 2019 by reducing wait times for inpatient day case treatment and outpa outpatient, outpatient departments. Finally, can I say the plan will again this year place a strong focus on high volume procedures, including orthopaedics. When combined with HSE activity, it is projected that the NTF will be in a position to offer treatment to all clinically suitable persons waiting for more than six months for hip and knee replacement. The NTPF will deliver additional activity in the health service by working with hospital groups and individual hospitals as well as private healthcare providers to maximise the number of patients treated in both public and private capacity. I would strongly encourage all hospitals, including Galway University Hospital, to collaborate with the NTPF to identify, uh, to identify waiting list initiatives. Thank you, Kankora. Thank you, Mr. Deputy O'Keefe. <coughs> John Cordell, isn't it extraordinary? September 2017, there's a problem with the roof. A problem with the roof. September 2019, that's not going to be solved. The key sentence here is having gone halfway down the road, like so many processes, they all seem to run into legal problems, procurement problems, whatever. Now, we're meant to have a dedicated national procurement process. It seems to me in the old days when we could just procure stuff, we could get the jobs done. And reality is that you've said they're working on a revised procurement strategy. In other words, they're on the never, never. So, Minister, will you answer the following question? When do you think we'll have two theatres operable in Galway again? How long will this new process take? until we actually have theatres operable, fitted out, kitted out or whatever. You might throw in there an answer as to why they couldn't have just mended the roof. Must be some roof. The third thing I'm seeking information on, could you tell me how many people from Galway have had to avail under the EU treaty rights and go out of the jurisdiction to get basic services because they couldn't wait long enough? The next question I'd like is, can you quantify, you say that nobody will have to wait more than six months. Can you tell me when that is actually going to happen and how many people's projected will then be on the waiting list 
rather than the 2,000 that are on the waiting list at the moment. We need specific answers. We need to know the facts. In the end of the day, as I said from the very beginning, people don't want excuses or explanations. They want operations carried out. And can I finally say, for some, the EU treaty rights, if they have money or access to money, is some escape valve. It's ridiculous that we just send people out of our country for basic services, but if we do, we do because of the incompetence of this government. But for those who don't have ready cash, All right. that's not that even a way out. Minister, please. Cancor, I want to thank the Deputy for raising this matter, and of course I accept the points he's raised, and there are certain detailed questions that need to be responded to. But can I say as well that the HSE advises me that a, pro a procurement strategy design, uh, a design team is in process of being appointed to develop the new procurement strategy. And secondly, the HSE advised me that the planning application has been lodged and a request for further information has been received. As part of removing the contractor from the previous process, this request for further information will be needed responded to. So they, these are the reasons for the delay. But can I also, I want to reassure the Deputy that the Government is committed to reducing waiting times for patients and improving access to care. The Department of Health is working with the HSE and the SALTA Group to restore the full orthopaedic hospital at Mer Merlin Park Hospital as soon as possible. But of course, the individual issues that you raised there, I'll bring your concerns back to Minister Simon Harris and we'll respond accordingly. Thank you.